Hi everybody, this is Dr. Karen, and today I'm going to answer the question, what is a coordinating conjunction? A coordinating conjunction is a word that connects two equally important words, phrases, or clauses. Let's pause a minute and think about what equally important means. The technical term is syntactically equal. So if a coordinating conjunction is connecting two words, phrases, or clauses that are equally important or syntactically equal, it means that the person listening to that sentence or that message should pay equal attention to both words, phrases, or clauses being connected. So if you have two clauses and they're connected by a coordinating conjunction, it means that neither one of them is the main part of the message. They're both equally important. So both of them deserve equal attention. There are six coordinating conjunctions in the English language. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Let's look at some examples of sentences that have coordinating conjunctions in them. Amy went to school, but Emily stayed home. And this sentence, both clauses are equally important. So we need to know that Amy went to school. We also need to know that Emily stayed home. Neither one of those clauses is more important than the other. We really need to pay attention to both of them. The word but is our coordinating conjunction that connects those two ideas together. Let's look at another example. Amy went to school, yet she wanted to stay home. We have two independent clauses here. Amy went to school, she wanted to stay home. Both of those parts of the message are equally important and they're being connected by the coordinating conjunction yet. Here's another example. Amy did her homework and ate a snack. Now this is a little bit different than the last two examples. The last two examples had two independent clauses connected by a coordinating conjunction. So they were compound sentences. This one has a compound predicate. So the word and in this sentence is connecting the two verb phrases. The verb phrases are did her homework and ate a snack. In this sentence, we need to know that Amy did both things. Neither one is more important than the other. That's why the coordinating conjunction is connecting those two verbs together. So we know that both parts of the message are important. Here's another example. Andy and Marissa walked home from school. This is a simple sentence with a compound subject. So the subject is Andy and Marissa. The coordinating conjunction is and. So what and is doing here is forming a compound subject. So we need to know that both Andy and Marissa walked home. Neither one is more important than the other. We need to remember that both of them did the action of walking home from school. So they're connected by our conjunction so that we know to pay attention to both of those parts of the message. Let's review what a coordinating conjunction is one more time. A coordinating conjunction is a word that connects two equally important words, phrases, or clauses. To watch more videos just like this one, Subscribe to my channel or visit me at drkarenspeech.com using the link in the description below this video. And to get a free list of coordinating conjunctions, 
sign up for my free 36 page ebook called the ultimate guide to sentence structure you'll be able to grab that when you visit my website at drkarenspeech.com using the link in the description below the video thanks so much for watching